Now, what should my forearms do during the backswing? Should I try and keep my right arm down because I feel like I want to keep my right arm tucked in the downswing? Should I try and keep my right arm high? What should I be doing with my forearms? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Peter Knight and I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you play the best golf you possibly can. And today we're going to look at how your arms and forearms should work and some reference points for them and what can happen if it doesn't work properly. When I set myself up, especially looking from down the line, if we look at a line across my forearms, about the middle of my forearm here, it's almost like my left forearm is blocked by my right forearm. So my forearms, when I set myself up, are level. So if I'm holding the club up here, this is one way to check it. My forearms here appear to be level rather than having my right forearm high, which is quite common, or even having the forearm underneath. Now, if I hold my both, forearm, both arms out in front of me here, and I just allow my body to rotate just around my spine, I'm leaning forward, my body rotates around my spine, notice that my right forearm will naturally be higher than my left, the appearance of it. In fact, they're both level, it's just like doing that, except that I'm leaning forward. Now, if I bring my hands into golf grip position, and do exactly the same thing, just rotate my, uh, my, rotate my upper body, you can see that my right forearm is still higher than my left forearm here at this point in the swing. So as I'm going back, I'm looking to create as little, or as little manipulative movement, in fact, ideally no manipulative movement as I begin the club, as I begin the backswing. So as I'm swinging back, body's rotating, and my right forearm is staying a little bit higher than my left. When I swing the club back, if I imagine a line running between my ball and my target, my target line, I want an extension of the shaft to trace a line along that target line. Now, if I start trying to keep my arms higher or lower, then I'm gonna influence the club's path going back. So again, I'm looking to do as little as possible and just rotate my body so the club stays on that line. The other thing that, it occur, that can occur is if we have a look from down the line, if I, the higher I try and keep my right forearm, the more closed the club face will naturally want to be. Now, if I'm aware of that and start trying to keep the club face open, then all of a sudden I'm creating like massive changes and manipulations to my swing. So it's the furthest from a natural movement, if you can even call golf swing a natural movement, it's the furthest thing from a natural movement than you could possibly have for golf. If I do the opposite and I try and keep that club face, uh, try, sorry, try and keep my right forearm lower, then the club face will want to open. And you can also see as I do that, that the club wants to also swing behind me. So there's big implications for having these manipulative elements with your forearms as you go back and through. Now, of course, as I continue the club swinging back, my right arm is going to fold. And at some point, my right elbow is going to bend to around about 90 degrees. But there's no attempt to try and keep my right forearm higher than my left, nor to try and do the opposite. As the club swings down and the club's coming down and approaching the ball, again, my right forearm is starting to appear from this view here from front on to be a little bit higher than my left as the club's approaching the ball. I'm not trying to keep my right forearm down because again, even as I demonstrate that movement, you can see it twists my body and that movement of trying to keep the forearm low, you can see it also moves the club on an incorrect path as well. So the less manipulation that I've got with the, the forearms going back and through, the easier it is. The very first little demo that I did where I just let my body turn back and through is the best for starting to get the feel of this movement. And if I turn my hands together like a golf swing and then just start to make that same movement and then put a club in my hands, I've got exactly the type of movement that I want with my forearms. That way my upper body's likely to stay in posture, my arms are going to work better, the club's going to, I'm going to have more control of the, the shaft of the club as well as the club face and club head as it's moving through. So practice that movement. If you, if you record your swing and you see that the, 
the forearms are either you know right forearms too high or too low going back or you're making a deliberate attempt to do so then check against what we're doing in this swing practice that drill and i'm sure that you'll have a lot more control of the shaft and of the club face by moving the club correctly